Hey guys, this is Swordfish. 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 And I'm playing Rogue Legacy. And I'm gonna unlock this. Bestiality. Half man, half badass? I think maybe? All awesome. Press A to awesome. I love to awesome. Class unlocked. You have discovered the lost art of the dragons. Though you cannot jump, you have unlimited flight and can cast forth fireballs at your foes. That sounds super cool. Super duper, duper, super duper cool. Did I just hear a duck? I just heard a quack. All right, we can't afford any other upgrades. Let's uh, let's go see what we found. We got a sword. Now this is a gold bonus minus to damage. That's way too much minus to damage. I don't think that's worth it for us. And this is, we found another rune. Another grace rune and a haste rune, I think. Are there any that I haven't unlocked? Like, that I don't know what they are? Yeah, the upper right one is the... The... I'm looking at the empty spaces. The upper right one, this one, is the only one we haven't found yet. I'm really... I'm curious to see what that does. Alright. Let's give it a shot. Lunker. Now, being a spelunker, I get extra gold. Yeah, I get 15 gold, and I'm super weak, so this may not last. Is this worth it? Yeah, there's a fairy chest on the other side. This may not be the longest of runs. Well, well, but we'll see. Take no damage. This looks impossible. Yup, yup, yup! How the heck was I supposed to do that? Sprint runes? Maybe the, um... The paladin's shield, maybe, would have done it? Maybe? Maybe. The last run we did with the Barbarian was pretty unbelievable. Although, not that, not that that should be a surprise. It's not like I die from lack of hit points and the Barbarian has like unlimited hit points basically. It shouldn't be shocking. Here we go. Journal entry number 21. I've done it! I've defeated the dungeon's master. Oh no. All that remains is to enter the throne. Is it going slow? My frame rate is really low. I'm gonna have to probably restart this recording, but I don't wanna mess up my... If I find a teleporter, I'm gonna do that. After this, the king will honor me for my valor and acknowledge me as rightful successor to the throne. Not my faceless siblings. I think there's gonna be a teleporter in this room. Yeah, there is. I'm gonna get these chests. And then I'm gonna... How do I... Why, quit Rogue Legacy. <laughs> I didn't need to show you guys that I was doing that. That was totally unnecessary. Although, we're gonna end up in a weird spot. So I'm gonna be right back. We're gonna, we're gonna quit and probably restart the computer and make sure that everything's okay. So, uh, see you in a minute. Well, in a second. See you right now. All right, I'm back. All right, we got our frame rate back, that's nice. It's really, having played this game at 60, 60 FPS the whole time, really, really hard 
to play it at 30. It's like everything is in slow motion. And apparently it actually is, because the, um... How the heck do you get to that chest? Do you see that? The, the one right in the middle of the screen. There's no room. Oh, maybe you had to go down and... Oh, man. Down and over. Um... The... Oh, jeez. Oh, I am, like, dying. The journal entry was, like, writing, writing itself on the screen, like, super slow motion. Oh, my God. This is... I just want this chest. I'm just, just trying to get the chest, guys. It's okay. Just the chest. Whoa! Okay. No! Well, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna get hurt. Okay, I'm... I'm gonna die, like, right now. I'm gonna make a run for that berry chest. I'm just gonna... Just <laughs> okay, that wasn't the best. I want my ah spelunket. Oh, it's a female spelunker. Okay, that's cute. Lich king, lich queen. Let's go with the lich queen. I don't have a lot of money, but I can buy another armor up. Okay, let us... Oh, I still have the monsters level up. I probably shouldn't have tried to fight the boss with the monsters level up. That was, that was a silly thing to do. Okay, we're gonna... Hope that... Crap. I just took 30 damage in the first room without killing a single enemy. I can't leave the gold. I'm incapable of leaving the gold. Okay, there we go. Well, we got off to a bad start, but this will we'll see. Oh. Well, we continue our bad start. I gotta I gotta kill these easy guys to get my hit points up. Very chest take no damage. This is that impossible one that you can't do without flying. Oh, if I had my bestiality, dude. You know what? If I get it, if I, if I roll him on the next run, I'm gonna lock it, lock the castle, and get that fairy chest. Okay, I say that at the beginning. Pretty much the beginning of this run. Let's see if there's any chance in hell. I'm gonna remember to do that. Oh god. Oh, there's a chest here. Now, I want to get the chest real bad. Sky Helm. Are these... Oh my god. Okay, this was a mistake. I'm stuck here now. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I died. I got the Sky Helm. Which I think was worth it, because I'm wearing Sky Armor right now. Come on, come on. Nope. Nope. We're gonna go with the Okage. Okage. I can't afford anything, right? No, I can't afford anything. The Sky Helm, I think, is good. Plus mana minus health. Maybe not. Maybe not. Minus health plus armor. Do I want... Now this is... See, I don't have the equivalent here. This sword, less damage, gold bonus. That's interesting, but... Siphon. I wonder what siphon does. I'm gonna... I'm gonna buy it and find out. Because I can afford it. That was really the, like... Only, one of the only things I didn't have, so we're gonna we're gonna find out what Siphon does. It seems like it, it steals something. I'm thinking I steal hit steal uh, maybe steal mana. It's 
seems like vampirism for mana. I am so fast. This is silly. Yeah, it seems like vampirism for mana, so that's not super helpful for me since I can't remember to use my spells in the first place. I was trying to kill that thing and it was a chest. This is crazy how fast I am. I don't know that that's really helpful. Like, to a certain degree. I don't know that it's helpful now. Alright, am I gonna go into the dungeon here? Yeah. Let's see if there's a chest. Chest this way? Yup. Worth it! Chest this way? Nope. Alright, I'm out. Peace. It's actually, this is really funny, the, the speed of this character has me playing faster, like, like I'm just like, ah, I'm like APM spamming. That's the, uh, that's the theory behind APM spamming. I don't know if any of you, I know that I've mentioned StarCraft a few times in this series. If any of you play StarCraft, APM stands for Actions Per Minute. So, StarCraft being a real-time strategy game, whoa. I just, did I just glitch through the wall, or did I see that wrong? Is this another impossible one? It's not. Oh, I got still oh, the bookshelf! Oh, the bookshelf got me. So, StarCraft is a real-time strategy game. And what you have to uh, I don't want to play that you have to do a lot of stuff I mean that's like understatement of the year there's a lot of stuff to do in Starcraft at the same time and actions per minute what the heck my whole house just shook realistically I probably should go see what just happened but I didn't hear any... I don't hear any noises. So I think we're good. Um, so actions per minute is the measure of how many actions you make in a minute. That makes sense. Um, and... So what players do, good players, and, and as a result, bad players, because bad players copy what good players do without knowing why. What good and bad players alike tend to do is spam their APM, which is hit a bunch of buttons really fast. Kind of like, and what the pros do is they do it to warm up their fingers, so... You're gonna have to be moving your fingers really fast, so if the pros basically practice repeatedly over and over, like, motions they're gonna have to make with their fingers, like combinations and that kind of stuff, to get their fingers used to doing them really quickly, or to, like, you know, to practice doing them really quickly so that in the game, when that situation occurs, they can, they, it just kind of works. Also, it's fun. Just hit a lot of buttons really quickly. But that's beside the But it's really funny, you end up seeing, like, a, people put a lot of stock in APM, like, how do I raise my APM? You don't need to raise your APM, like, on purpose. If you're good, whoa. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. I'm just gonna. I shouldn't be here. If you're good at the game, your APM is gonna raise naturally because you're gonna be doing more stuff. Because you're gonna know what stuff you need to be doing, and you're gonna do it. Okay, let's go in here and see what happens. 
It's gonna send me off to where I just was. A place that I don't wanna be. Well, that wasn't smart. That wasn't smart. I'm really hoping for a- Yes! Dragon! Dragon, we got a dragon. We got a dragon. Alright, the next thing I want is randomized children. That if the next time I get a huge bunch of gold, 58, 10. Next time I get a huge bunch of gold, that's the one I want. I want randomized children. My spell, okay, it does cost gold. I thought for some reason, oh, this doesn't cost gold. Instead of swinging my sword, and I just fly indefinitely. This is gonna be really hard to get used to. Or maybe it, it says 14 magic mana here. Okay, I, I gotta get used to the controls. So you press jump and you can fly around and then you press jump again and you fall. And then this, now it says minus 14 magic points, so I'm concerned that I'm only gonna be able to do it like three times. Yeah, and then what? Am I gonna have to use, oh, it recharges. It regens like super fast. Oh, I forgot to change my, I forgot to change my, uh, my cape to vampirism. Well, this is, this is loony. And really hard to wrap your head around. Oh my god. Huh. This feels like a totally different game. Really, this is like a totally different game with this character. This is so weird. I really am gonna miss the hit point, um, the hit points regen. Disappointed. I was too excited to remember to do that. I was too excited to play this dragon. Oh my god, yeah, because I'm really taking a lot of damage here. It's not very powerful. Now I guess that's because my, um, my magic, I haven't been increasing my magic skill at all, really. Because I haven't really been, like I said, I don't really... Like I said when I, I, I equipped the siphon thing, I don't really use my magic enough. I, I forget to use it. I'm gonna die just because I don't. Now, like, I can't really kill these guys because I can't get next to them. Interesting. I can't really kill them because I can't get next to them. I want to make sure I don't waste this. I want to explore. Well, it sure makes some guys easier. Any melee monsters are, are super easy. Oh, crap. Yeah, melee enemies are super easy here, because they just, um... 
You just stay away from them. Huh. This is really strange. I feel like, well, I'm not nearly as powerful as I should be because my magic, my magic skill is so weak. Now they can't hurt me. As long as I stay away from them, they can't hurt me. Because they only, the thing only spawns on the ground. Their damage thing only is on the ground. They can't hurt me. I was good. I healed up a bit. Awesome. Got myself some chicken. It's funny that I still carry a sword. Alright, I, I, I see the usefulness of this for sure. This would be great. Oh, did, really? That stays there permanently? That might be a bug. The, the, I don't remember his name. The last boss, I'm gonna call him Marco Polo because Ponce de Leon, that's what it was. He, um, he, he threw out a lot of crap. For lack of a better word. And if I were able to fly, I could dodge it, like, super easy, I think. God, playing this game with a ranged attack is so weird. It's so weird. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. I really just I really that I really just let that happen twice. Yeah, let's see what's here. Well this would be impossible to cross. Um Am I safe in this corner? I think I might be. Yeah, I don't think they shoot up here. Crap, crap, I gotta get up. Oh, that was, oh my god. That was really bad. That was, I got, ah. That was really disappointing. I got, um, I got too aggressive. That's what I lost it. Man. Um, I shouldn't have done that. That was really silly. For a second I had the I, I had the uh the, the thing moving with the music. That was pretty funny. Okay, well I need to upgrade my magic damage now. I'm not using the dragon this go round, but um, but still. Oh boy! I think I just did the same thing I did last episode. I started my last run with the barbarian. This one gonna be a while. I said last last time I didn't want to cut a run into two split a run by two episodes. And I, I still don't think I'm gonna do that, but we'll see. Cause I 
like I said, I, I really hate for the videos to be longer than 30 minutes. Just because I don't want to lose... I don't want to lose anyone's attention or... Um, I don't want to lose anyone's attention and I don't want to like stop them from coming in the first place. With 40 minute videos. Alright, you know what we're going to do? Instead of being super safe, we're gonna go in this teleporter, and it's probably gonna bring us to the Maya. Or... Oh. Oh. Okay. Or here. Well, we're gonna get our first real taste of this area. I've never actually... Fought here before because oh, seriously, because I uh, it's terrifying. So we're gonna do it. Oh my god, I'm almost dead already. I have so much mana, I need to use it. I need to use it, I can't just... I can't, uh... lose with all this extra mana. Because it can keep me alive. I'm really far down. Well, it can't keep me alive. It can it can make the monsters die. Um Crap, 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 crap. There's a chest up there. What's in here? There's a chest in here too. As well as those things. Well, that was bound to not be Well, it was fun. It was fun while it lasted, but I, I, that's, yeah, that's too hard still. I need a lot more hit points, I need a lot more, I need a lot more everything to be able to survive that, so. Yeah, that was to be expected. It was a little exciting, though, we got a little excitement. That's all for this episode. That's all. That's it. We're done. We're done on time, too, because I, I kind of ended up killing myself, but... <laughs> If you liked this episode, please give it a like down below. That really helps me out, gets my videos out there. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel. The videos will come to your fit to your, not Facebook. Well, I am on Facebook, but Swordfish plays. But um, it'll come to your YouTube feed. It'll come to your email if you want. If you um, if you think this game looks fun, please go to Stellar Door Games and give it a purchase. There's always a link in the description to that. We need to keep indie development alive. It's, it makes everything... It's like puppies. We need to keep puppies alive. Puppies are awesome. Everybody loves puppies. So, uh, thanks all you good puppies for watching. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.